When I started my digital marketing agency three years ago, I just thought, okay, if I'm just going to be really good at running ads on Facebook and Instagram, then I'm going to be having a successful digital marketing agency. Hi there, my name is Jeppe, and this is my first YouTube video about five reasons your online business is failing. The first reason why I see a lot of online businesses failing is because they think they're an expert before they actually are an expert. Let's see, you've probably just started your online business. You are completely new. You have probably taken a course explaining you step by step what to do, how to do it, etc. But you haven't actually gone out and done all of this stuff yet. What I see a lot of people actually do is they go out and instantly mark themselves as an expert. If it's an e-commerce expert, if it's a copywriting expert, if it's a digital marketing expert, I've seen this time and time again. And often what I see and what I believe happens for people is that they put themselves on a pedestal which they're not actually able to provide what they are saying they're able to provide. So instead of going out being honest and transparent, people would rather say, oh, I'm a completely expert at this. And of course, your clients say, oh, okay, this guy must be really good because he's saying he's really, really good. He's an expert. And as soon as you get the job, you might get your first client, the results is just not there. Why is that? You're probably not an expert yet. And how could you be? You haven't never tried this before. So what you should instead do is say to your client, maybe it's your first digital marketing client, whatever online business you're running, say to them, I'm completely new at this. I've taken this specific course. I've learned the, this specific things. I'm willing to do everything in my power to make your business become successful, but I am new and I, I am not an expert yet. What you do by saying that is you tell them, okay, I'm not the best at this yet, but I'll give you my everything. You show them that you are honest, and this is actually much more important than just people thinking you're an expert. Because you would much rather work with a guy you feel, okay, this guy's honest. He's also going to be honest when results are bad, which you need. Instead of a guy just always saying, oh, everything is good. I'm an expert, no worries, this will get fixed. That is the first thing. The second reason I see a lot of online businesses fail is because of impatience. Again, this comes a lot from social media and what we see on social media. And what we actually see on social media is often young men in the age maybe 18 to 25 becoming huge successes overnight. But what we often don't see is their journey ahead of that. That could have been five years of working really, really hard on a specific business model and then they became successful. And what often happens is that people don't want to show when they're not successful. So what we end up seeing on social media, we follow a lot of entrepreneurs, is we're going to be seeing a lot of successful people. Because who wants to show themselves in the completely state of beginning, not being good, not being even just a little bit good at what they're doing, no one wants to do that. What you have to do is you have to choose a business model. You have to work on it for at least two years before you judge if this business model is going to work for you or not. If you're sitting there right now and you've maybe been doing your specific business, let's say a digital marketing agency for six months, how could you be successful? It takes years and years to build a really good profitable business. And no one has ever, unless they won the lottery, become a millionaire overnight. It just takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. And you're definitely not helping yourself scrolling through Instagram and TikTok all day, looking at all the successful people that you wish to be like. That's the number two thing. The third reason why I see a lot of people not becoming successful with their online business is simply because they are copying other people's success. This is definitely goes out to the ones that has taken a course, learning a specific business model, and then have started to execute on it. What I see too often is that they go out, they take a course, learning how to build a business from that business model. Maybe you've done this. And you go in there and you do exactly the same. You use the same templates, you send the same outreaches as the other 5,000 in the course. Of course you're not going to be successful by that. So what you instead have to do is Instead of doing what they did, you have to learn why they become successful doing what they did and then execute from your learnings 
to become successful in your own way. Because you will never become successful trying to one-to-one -one copy some of the gurus that you've probably bought a course from at this point. You're going to become successful learning how they did it, learning why they are successful, and you are probably not at this point successful. You have to make that distinction and figure that out. Because when you know that, then it's pretty easy to figure out, okay, this is why this specific guy is successful, this is what I have to do. It's all about the client, it's about their brand, it's about their ability to sell their own product. You're not going to be able to sell someone else's product if they're not able to sell it themselves. And that's a really important learning when running, especially a digital marketing agency. So start learning why and stop learning what. The fourth reason I see a lot of online businesses failing is because they lack execution. This might sound simple, and yeah, this is probably not exactly what your guru told you to do. He probably told you that you have to meditate every morning, you have to eat healthy all the time, you can never go out, let's say, if you're completely new to this world, an unbalanced life. Because no one can just from one week to another change all your daily habits and you won't be successful doing so. What brings you success is executing on a business plan every single day in a long period of time. It doesn't help going out becoming a monk or whatever. You have to do specific things. Let's say you're running a digital marketing agency, you have to make calls, you have to make outreaches, you have to go out networking, you have to meet with relevant people that could become your clients. You have to put yourself in the spot in order to actually start having clients. You're never going to do that by just sitting at home, meditating, reading books, figuring all that stuff out if you're not executing. So in the beginning, be more relaxed. Don't focus on being a perfectionist. Focus on executing the 80 to 20 rule. You've probably heard this many times. You've probably also read the book 80 to 20, the rule. It's so simple. It's more about executing than it is about being perfect. That's what you have to focus on. The fifth reason I see a lot of people failing with their online business is because they don't think it's easy, but their brain has tricked them into thinking. And this is really simple. It all stems from social media. On social media, we're able to see a lot of people, especially at our own age, having a lot of success, being millionaires, having insane watches and driving the car you've always wanted to drive. So of course, our brain tricks us into, oh, okay, if I just buy this course, then I will get what the guy that owns the course has. And what a lot of people don't understand is that they are actually tricked by their own brain into thinking that it's easy being successful. What can you do to stop it? There's a really simple way to do it actually. Take your Instagram, take your TikTok, take your Facebook, Twitter, whatever social media, and just get rid of it. This is actually more crucial than you think. Because not only are you going to be feeling down when you've been working on your business for maybe six months, you see a guy that has only been doing it four months and he's doing twice as good as you. That is horrible for your motivation. You're really only going to be successful when you're able to shut down all the exterior things happening in the world and only focusing on yourself, your business model and working on it for a long time. Your brain is tricking you into thinking being successful is easy, which it is definitely not. Start focusing on what you are able to do in the day to day to achieve the things you want. This was the first YouTube video for me. I hope you liked it. Please leave a comment with your feedback or leave a like. And I'm going to be posting twice a week. You can also check the links below where my social media if you want to follow me. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.